A live look backstage, and this Triple H, the Chief Content Officer, he has arrived, and we have no idea what's in store for SmackDown tonight. Live to SmackDown as we're off the heels of Night of Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, with the Chief Content Officer, Triple H, in the house tonight, what can we expect here on SmackDown as we head towards Survivor Series War Games? And what a way to kick it off! Then with the new, undisputed, two-time WWE Champion, the American Nightmare, who went to war, went through hell and back to regain that WWE title, was able to overcome his biggest adversary in Randy Orton at Night of Champions with the goal on the line. Blood was spilled, bodies were broken, but in the end, the American Nightmare stands tall. And that's why he's here live tonight, battered and bruised, but nonetheless, he has the one thing that's important around his waist, the undisputed WWE title that he will defend at Survivor Series. The question is, against who? A lot of things has happened at Night of Champions to where there's a lot of viable contenders for that championship. Some might say CM Punk may be first in line. Some may say Bobby Lashley when he got the win against Punk. Hell, it could be Dominic Mysterio has been on a hell of a run as television champion. Or maybe Finn Balor. He's no longer the Intercontinental Champion. Maybe he might go after the top prize once again. My point is, Cody Rhodes has a lot on his plate. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I, Cody Rhodes, am once again your undisputed WWE Champion. Hell of a match. Randy Orton champions. brought me to my limit, just like I did to him. And for that, I say, thank you, Randy. I know that we are far from over, so whenever you're ready for another go-around, I'll be here. Oh! Wait a minute! Right as Cody Rhodes was acknowledging that Randy Orton gave him a hell of a match and not a champions. Right as Cody Rhodes says, hey, if you want to go another round, so be it. But it looks like the best in the world has other things in mind. Out of a way to start, Cody Rhodes and exactly the best in the world, despite coming off a massive win at Clash of the Castle, defeated Bobby Lashley. Even though there was a controversial, there was a controversial uh, situation that happened with the ropes, but nonetheless. Punk did, did defeat Bobby Lashley, which led for Bobby Lashley to go on the tangent, not only attacking Punk, but then beating Punk, along with Finn Balor, uh, Lashley and Balor beating Punk and Kevin Owens in a tag team match on the last episode of SmackDown. So no doubt, the momentum of Punk is still on a high, but how much? Sorry for the interruption, but I'm not waiting for another rerun of Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton. Night of Champions may have not been my night, but tonight on SmackDown, and since you're here, I can finally look at you and tell you that I'm next for that belt. I'm not Randy. I don't know you on a personal level, but I can tell you that I am the best in the world, and at Survivor Series, 
I will be the next undisputed champion. Hawk making his statement. The man that claims to be the best has yet to claim its prize. You say that you're the best in the world, but in my view, that's just simply not true when I'm the champion. So you want a shot at this? Fine. Name the time and place. I'll do it. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Cody Rhodes and Punk, they're about it, but the final boss has something to say about that. The Rock making his way in the arena tonight. Oh my goodness. Now just wait a damn minute. It seems that my two top stars are more interested in fighting among themselves, rather helping the final boss for the greater good. I'll tell you what. Since at Survivor Series, Cody must defend the undisputed WWE title, and I need Randy Orton for other reasons. I'll give half of what you want. Punk, you'll get your title shot. Oh! Punk is getting but so his shot! The men that beat you at Night of Champions. So, what? at Survivor Series, it will be Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk versus Bobby Lashley in a triple threat match for the undisputed title. Are you kidding me? Bobby Lashley oh, is in the picture! As far as War Games goes, Beth Phoenix, the women's general manager of SmackDown, and myself will address that next week. Oh, the final boss has spoken. He will address the war game situation next episode of SmackDown along with Beth Phoenix, the SmackDown Women's General Manager. But there it is. It is official. Survivor Series War Games in Vancouver. Triple threat for the undisputed title. Punk, Lashley, and Rhodes. Oh my goodness. What a way to kick off SmackDown. Already know what's gonna happen, but also we're gonna have a number one contenders qualifying match down the line. So we're gonna have qualifying matches starting tonight. Trick Metal Gang taking on the Good Brothers here tonight on SmackDown. Also, we're gonna have Chad Gable go one on one with Tyler Bate, especially with no more championships on SmackDown. More opportunities will come for the SmackDown roster. Also, the Queen is gonna get revenge after tapping out to Mommy at Night of Champions in the Gauntlet match. Shot of Flair going one on one with Rhea. Ripley here tonight live on SmackDown and our main event, the television title on the line, Raquel Rodriguez, they're going to get her get back against the new champion, the returning Jade Cargo, making her SmackDown debut here tonight. A live look backstage and there's the man, the WWE Women's Champion, Becky Lynch, coming off a submission victory and now the champions will be here to address the crowd later on tonight. And oh, look at that, the Queen has arrived. Charlotte Flair is here for her match later on tonight. Showing you footage before the show, Rhea Ripley made her way in the arena. Ripley will be competing against Charlotte Flair later on tonight. Can Ripley establish that she is better than the Queen? We'll find out tonight on SmackDown. But ladies and gentlemen, there's a live look of Lyra Valkyria making her way towards the ring. as she makes her SmackDown debut here tonight. Made a surprising appearance and not a champions. And now she's ready for action tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. Lyra Valkyria making her way down the aisle. Again, she appeared at Night of Champions at everyone's shock, and she did perform at a high level, but in the end, came up short in the gauntlet match. But I knew that was just only the beginning of Lyra Valkyria's story in this universe mode. We've seen those who've had a a uh, bad start at first, but then go on to rise to prominence down the line. So no doubt Lyra Valkyria may have not been her night at Night of Champions, but tonight could be. Lyra Valkyria one-on-one against a former 
Women's and World Tag Team Reese Champion. Reese Stephanie Stratton, a former, not only Women's World Tag Team Champion, but also a former WWE Women's Champion back last season in uh, 2K23 during that NXT phase, if you will. But no doubt that Tiffany Stratton, ever since getting, getting drafted over to SmackDown, it has not been in the limelight or has not been in, in a winning predicament as of late but no doubt in the mind of Tiffany Stratton her moment could come at any point the one thing wrestling and life have in common is that not not every night will be a good day not every night will be a good night but no doubt it's about what you do afterwards it's about how you recover. As this match begins, we're out the gate. And we're out the gate. Springboard crossbody by Lyra on the Tiffany. Hooking the leg up the lot of a press and a kick at one. We're out the gate. First the Instagram head kick and then the springboard. Lyra's like a house on fire in the early goal. Drop kick to the spine. Look at her showcase, what she's all about. Trying to go for a kick, caught her. The Tiffany to DDT. And now Stratton with a standing moonsault to follow. Two young stars going out of here, but Tiffany Stratton, who's been in universe mode over the last year, has obviously have a bit more experience. Knows what it's like to hold championship. Good! Something that Valkyria tried to do, which ended up being Jade Cargo in the end. Look at that snap mirror, then into a surfboard stretch submission. Haven't seen that since the old SVR days, but look at that! Lyra Valkyria, but to turn that around. And now look at this! Exploder! An exploded air by Valkyria. And now look at this. Oh, oh my! Open hand palm strikes! And then those vicious kicks, and then a thrust to the gut, and then an axe kick right to the back of the neck. Furious strikes! A fury of strikes being delivered by Valkyria, but then Stratton able to find an opening. Springboard! Gunner on the spine! Oh my goodness! Landing on the Tiffany Stratton, but now oh, Stratton with a kick. And now Stratton, Snapmare. Again, surfboard stretch. Having the knee planted right to the spine, right to the back of Valkyria. But it's Lyra, oh, thick crossbody. But the strike of Stratton being displayed. Back and forth offense between both women here. Both trying to be the, in the driver's seat. Oh my goodness. Spinning heel kick isn't enough to put Stratton down. Oh, the kick at two. Close, but yet no cigar for Valkyrie just yet. What else? This Valkyria have in her bag in order to put away Stratton. Got the arm, but oh, form in the face, able to counter. And now Stratton, who we all know loves to use the high fly as uh, to an advantage. Oh! Corkscrew, Vader ball at the corner. Isn't it up? Oh, wow, we're kicked out of two. <laughs> oh my god. Holy hell, that was a 2.9 if I ever saw one. And I look at Stratton. Measuring Valkyria with a drop kick. Valkyria got to watch out for the prettiest moonsault ever. Which, that could be in the works. Scooping a slam. Could this be? No. Stratton got something else in mind. Off the second row. Crossbody instead. Crossbody instead on the Valkyria, but oh, just stomping in the head of Lyra. But oh wait, oh, able to catch her. I think Valkyria was thinking maybe springboard. She was running, but Tiffany able to stop her in the tracks. But off the ropes of the lariat. 
And now, oh, what's this? Look at that body scissors. And now Lyra's firing up. But what's she gonna do with it? Scoop and a slam. And now Lyra. Where's she going? Uh-oh. Going up top. Look at the frog, frog splash. Frog splash. And it's Lyra Valkyria getting a win in her debut. What a match. Here is your winner, Lyra Valkyria. Both Stratton and Valkyria put on a hell of a performance in this matchup, but no doubt this could be the rise of Lyra Valkyria in her story starting tonight here on SmackDown. What a debut for Lyra here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because coming up, we're going to have the tag team match. Trip Yellow Gang versus the OC. Not going to lie. Going through the Judgment Day for the Intercontinental Championship made it worth it. In our past, Finn beat me. I beat Damien twice and sent him riding in an ambulance. Then Night of Champions came around, and after 20 minutes of resting clinic, I came out on top as the brand new Intercontinental Champion. Now, I may be the champion, but that's not stopping either a new challenger stepping forward to face me, or it's Finn Balor or Damian Priest or any one of the men in the Judgment Day that wants to step up. I will be ready. Six times I've won that prize. And next week, you'll see an updated look to the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, Kevin Owens letting it be known. He's looking to be a fighting champion in his sixth Intercontinental title reign. And looks like he got a challenger, Karrion Cross. Wow. No doubt, ladies and gentlemen, live in East sort of her New Jersey for SmackDown. We get ready for this tag team number one contenders qualifying series that we're going to have for the tag team titles, especially with new tag champs like DIY in the fold. Here comes Trip Metal Gang looking for an opportunity, and they're getting it here tonight. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on their way to the ring at a combined weight of 415 pounds. The team of Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Two young men looking for an opportunity. They've said it on SmackDown many, many, many weeks ago that they are looking to go after the tag team gold. Hell, they want all the gold. They want the television title, the Intercontinental title. Hell, even the Undisputed title. But it looks like they're looking to start at the tag team scene. We've seen Carmelo Hayes had a hell of a run as Intercontinental Champion while undefeated until he met Gunther 101 at the Royal Rumble this year. But no doubt Carmelo Hayes and Chuck Williams have the capabilities not only be a successful tag team, but to be tag team champions. A tag team, an aspiring tag team like Trick Mellow Gang, taking on a veteran tag team that has accomplished so much all around the world. But ladies and gentlemen, this tag team match will take place after the break. Two rings, one steel cage. Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena where Raw vs. SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs. Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. In the back live here on SmackDown in East Winifred, New Jersey. It's his tag team match continued during the break. As the OC looking to try to remain in control, but it looks like Trip Williams might find an opening. As Williams, oh! 
tossing Anderson out of the corner and now a vertical suplex to follow. Universe mode over the last year. No doubt you get a mix of... Oh wait! Oh! Good stunt by Anderson! But Hayes, Hayes in the ring. It's gonna say you get a mixture of not only veterans but also new coming talent as well. Some of the new coming talent may have achieved of their goals very early on. I mean, I, there's a lot of examples that have taken place through history where superstars that has been on the roster for a short amount of time, but in the end, they're still able to achieve their goals as Hayes got the tag, but oh, job bringing there by Gallo, so wait, Gallo's pull! And Trip Williams right there to make the save. Carmelo Ace is in a bad way, busted open and all. But Gallows receives an Itsuguri head kick. Hayes are going to continue to fight here. Tag. And now off the ropes, double backdrop. Again, Trick Melo Gang taking on an established tag team like the OC, like Gall Gallows and Anderson cover by Trick Williams, and a kick at two by Gallows. Gallows and Anderson not only held out Raw, they held SmackDown, and all, all tag team goal. Impact, New Japan, you can name it! Gallows and Anderson are all about making that green. All about winning not only cash, but also championships as well. Look at this. Chuck Williams. Down goes Gallows. And now Trek sends Anderson into the corner. Look at the isolate Carl, which is a, a smart play if you ask me. Try to keep him at bay, but not got him up top. And oh my god, knocked him down. While Carmelo Hayes just watches. And now Hayes, while Trick will go after Gallows. Carmelo Hayes sends Anderson back in the ring. Looks like Trick Melo game may have a, a game plan unfolding right now. But wait, Anderson got up to his feet. Able to send him into the corner. Gallows back up to his feet and in the corner as well. But Anderson with a chop. Good grief. And now what the, where is he going? Going up top, but Williams made the tag. Williams made the tag. Here comes Hayes. Drop kick on the Gallows. And now Carmelo Hayes, Snapmare, thinking, oh, thinking about Snapmare, but Gallows got up to his feet. And plus Williams. Trick Williams was getting up to his feet to get up onto the apron. Inverted DDT by Hayes. Again, this is a, a number one contender qualifying series. There will be three tag team matches taking place over the next three weeks. Heading towards Survivor Series. But look at Williams. Swinging neckbreaker onto Gallows. Goes for the cover. Anderson made the save. And now Luke Gallows on defense. Trying to recover, but Trick Williams takes care of Gallows. And now tags in Hayes. Hayes trying to go after Carl. Carl got the knee up, but Hayes still got him. And look at Gallows. Gallows getting back in the ring, but Carmelo Hayes does not have his eye on the ball. Oh, wait. Hayes turning around. Wait, side Uranagi. And now Melo, clothesline, elbow, sent him out the corner. Carmelo Hayes might have Car uh, Luke Gallows right where you want him. High knee. Caught him with the knee. Now what? Hayes going up top. Again, the winning up. The winning team out of this series will be number one contenders for the tag team title. 
Nothing but net. Is it enough? Is it a swish? Yes, it is. Trick Metal Gang advance. Wow. Here are your winners. The team of Carlo Hayes and Trick Williams. Hell of a performance by both men. But in the end, it may have not been pretty, but they got the job done to get one step closer to gold. So it's official. CM Punk will get a crack at the undisputed WWE title. A title that I once held for 434 days, beating the absolute best that was offered in front of me. Recently in Universe Mode, I've won the Cruiserweight title, the World Heavyweight title on the Raw brand, and I'm also a King of the Ring winner. Point is, my success may be a lot, but what makes me a success is the support of the fans and my gritty determination to always fight back. At Survivor Series, I will repeat history. I will win a triple threat match at Survivor Series with the WWE title on the line. Just like he did in 2012. I also started my longest reign at a Survivor Series in Madison Square Garden in 2011. Fast forward to 2024 in Vancouver. My time has come. The whole point of my return will be fulfilled at Survivor Series when I finally become the WWE Undisputed Champion. Wow. CM Punk letting it be known. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to say, CM Punk letting it be known that Survivor Series, he plans on recreating history, winning a triple threat with the title on the line. He did it in Indianapolis, Indiana in 2012. Can he do it in 2024 in Vancouver, BC? But right now, here comes the Chief Content Officer of World Wrestling Entertainment, Triple H. It seems that it's time to play the game. We have no idea what could be on the mind of Triple H again. Triple H is the head and shoulders above all here in the WWE, being the chief content officer. Meaning that he's the guy that makes all the rules. The Rock may be the final boss, may be a member of the board of TKO, but in the end, it's the game that runs the show between both Raw and SmackDown. It's The Rock and HBK. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here for one reason and one reason only. Here's the thing, with the Survivor Series theme being brand warfare, and will be contested in a best two out of three, with the two War Games matches and the Women's Tag Team Champion versus Champion matchup. Let's have some fun, shall we? There will be two Champion versus Champion matches that'll take place on the eve of Survivor Series. What? So, Cody Rhodes, the now, undisputed WWE champion will go one-on-one -on -one with Raw's World Heavyweight Champion what? Roman Reigns. Are you kidding me? Rhodes and Reigns! Later that same week on SmackDown, right before Survivor Series, the WWE Women's Champion Becky Lynch will seek action against Raw's Women's World Champion Bayley. Both matches will not have interference. If so, there will be a fine, a suspension, or even termination. I thank you for your time. I'll see you soon. Wow, more implications regarding war games. Having the champions go at it before Survivor Series. Almost setting the tone of what's to come. Oh, there's Raquel Rodriguez arriving in the arena. She is the first challenger to that woman right there, Jay Cargill, with the women's television title on the line later on tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to bow down. All hail the queen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. In my view, I think Charlotte Flair is not really a, in a good mood after what happened at Night of Champions. 
letting the world know that she wants to be the inaugural WWE Women's Television Champion here in Universe Mode, but sadly, not the case with Jade Cargo being the one to take the gold. I wonder if Charlotte Flair still has that in her mind that she still wants to be the television champion. She's been on the mountaintop before. She was the Women's World Champion before. She was the WWE Women's Champion before. But in the end of the day, Charlotte Flair is a history maker and she looks to create more history. It, whether it has nothing to do with the current climate of the women's division today, it's more about her past, meaning her father. A former NWA women, a uh, former NWA television champion. Looking to add the television goal to her list of accomplishments, but Sally at now the champions couldn't couldn't come to be. But let's see if she can rebound tonight to maybe be next in line. But then again. Charlotte Flair must meet a woman that she's met over the last year. Throughout sporadic times, these two have met on numerous occasions. And tonight will not be any different. Hey, Here comes Ripley. Representing Good Judgment Day from Adelaide, South Australia, Rhea. Made a shocking appearance at Night of Champions, being a part of that gauntlet match. I believe she was the fourth participant in that match before, uh, or either the fourth or fifth. But either way, the point is, Rhea Ripley, a former Women's World Champion, now looking. She's all over the place, to be fair. Rhea Ripley has chased after the women's world title, chased after the women's tag titles with Blair Davenport, going after the television title as well. In Rhea Ripley's case, her limits are limitless, to say the least. And she does battle here tonight. Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, one on one here on SmackDown. Oh my! And Roth the gate chop block to the left knee. Holy! Big boot by Flair. After the chop block, Charlotte Flair on the attack again, not looking to back down to Rhea Ripley at all. Again, out for revenge after what happened at Night of Champions, tapping out to the prism lock by the hands of Ripley. This is all for revenge in Charlotte Flair's mind. But for Ripley, it's all about elevating herself to maybe go further into the championship picture. Oh! Big boot over the top to the outside. Ripley just ate that, got back up to her feet. Oh, it landed the Flair. Barely, but landed nonetheless. I don't know what was more awkward, that crossbody or the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight. But either way, able to send her back in the ring, dead Flair. The, the crowd is like 50-50 on Flair. Some boo, some cheer. But nonetheless, they're all here to let their feelings be known towards Flair. After the elbow, strikes being delivered. And again, got the knee, got the knee. Oh! Attacking that left knee. Did Flair goes on the rear. The rear able to kick at one. And Charlotte Flair just oh, not only measuring Rhea, just soaking it all in. Here live in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Sold out here tonight. As oof, slamming her head onto the canvas. As the uh the Queen! Oh! Look at this showcase her expertise, if you will. The exploder, the kip up. 
That's classic Charlotte in that chop as well. But then again, here comes Rhea. Classic Rhea! Oh, but classic Flair! The, the termination! Oh, but got up just to get knocked down. And then Rhea! Clothesline to the outside goes Flair. It's a back and forth affair between Flair and Rhea right now. You think one has the advantage, but then the other just turns it around. That's how well known these two know each other when it comes to in-ring competition. They fought for the women's world title multiple times, even at Survivor Series last year. It was Rhea Ripley that beat Charlotte Flair with the gold on the line. Oh, off the post. Face first goes Flair as Rhea's back in the ring, but Flair up to her feet. The ever resilient queen. Just taking her time to get back in the ring. Count of seven. And now, look at Ripley. Two hand choke. Got her. Up. Oh, elbow to the face. As Charlotte Flair sends off the ropes. Ducks it. Leapfrog. And fire with an elbow. But Mommy got up to her feet. And the queen takes her down. Here comes Flair, natural selection! The chop, natural selection for the win over Ripley, no! Kick at a two! We saw a lot of Valkyrie and Tiffany Shred had a great match earlier. Now, Ripley and Flair going at it. Just working on the head and neck. The Charlotte Flair, and oh, shot right to the gut. And now look at this, Charlotte suffers a full Nelson, full Nelson slam by Ripley. The Queen may be on defense here, over the top to the outside. As Ripley taunting the New Jersey crowd here tonight. Over 13,000 plus in the arena. As able to keep up the flare. As Ripley. She goes outside just to meet the steel steps. And now the queen is fired up here. Big right. Got Rhea right where she wanted. Perhaps electric chair. Oh my god. That thin padding on the floor. Might as well be concrete. No give whatsoever. Nothing but pain. As Flair sends her back in the ring. What's she thinking? Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> the end of Dolph Ripley. Tope Soacena. Despite Flair was taking care of the announce table. Ripley managed to launch herself far enough to land that Tope successfully. And now Charlotte Flair gets back in the ring. Trying to go for a boot. Ripley caught one of the... With a double like take. Double like take down and now Ripley stomping on the hand of Flair. They're gonna go for that prism submission hold. But instead, Riptide! Has Flair suffered a Riptide? Is Ripley looking to go away with the victory now? Victory is not in the cards for Ripley just yet. Drop kick goes Ripley. Natural selection kicked out. Riptide kicked out. What will it take? Scoop, counter, DDT by Flair. Chop and another. Try to go for the leg, but Ripley that time. Had her scouted, knee to the, to the body of Flair. And now, stomping on the right hand of Flair this time. Big kip up. Irish whip, got her in the corner. Shoulder first. Oof. Ripley just stomping out. Charlotte, out of the corner. Isn't enough for the win. Form in the face. But she's close to the ropes, but a kick, nonetheless.
This feels like a main event match, and we're not even at the main event yet. Good grief. Splash by Ripley. And now somebody's getting their chest kicked in. Good grief. And now Flair in trouble. Electric chair, perhaps, like she did to Ripley earlier. But no, counter. Was able to counter, sent her back in the ring. This has been a very competitive match, to say the least. Flair up top. But Ripley able to send her down. Every time Flair tried to get into the groove of things, Ripley able to turn things around. Truck kick counter. And now what's Charlotte thinking? Sent it to the ropes. Again, not about, not only about elevating their status right now, but also proving who's better between the two every time. One night it could be Flair, one night it could be Ripley. Double knees. Double knees by Flair isn't enough to put Ripley away. Rhea Ripley refusing to die, refusing to say quit. Charlotte Flair, side Yuranagi once more. Got her in the corner. What you thinking? They're gonna attack that left knee. Oh, chop, counter by Ripley. Uh oh, uh oh. She countered the chop with her own chop, and then ripped tied by Ripley. Ripped tied. Ripley beats Flair. Wow! Didn't see that coming. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. A big win from Mommy, justifying her victory over Flair at Night of Champions. Oh my! Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the action does not stop. Chad Gable going one on one with Tyler Bates. Back live here on SmackDown, East Winifred, New Jersey, getting ready for one on one singles action for the Madness. Here comes Chad Gable. Here we go. Chad Gable, one on one with Tyler Bates. And his opponent, oh my. from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds. Tyler Bates! Two young stars are going to go out of here. Big strong boy taking on a master strategist, if you will, in Chad. Gable, Master uh, Master Gable, if you will, from the Alpha Academy, Tyler Bate, making his way down the aisle. Both men have achieved a certain level of success. Both men are former tag team champions, Gable and Tyler Bate, respectively. Gable, part of Mustache Mountain when he won the tag team gold, Alpha Academy for Chad Gable, but nonetheless, former tag team competitors, now a single start. One on one, here we go. Bell is long, here we go. Match begins after that kick to the gut by Gable. Off of the collar ball, tie up and in a back suplex. We're gonna show two young technicians going out of here. Got him up on the shoulders, face first. Face first, Snake Eyes. Is it enough for Gable to get the win over Beat? And you're going, but a kick at one. And now look at this, Gable. Got him down with a cross of. Uh, cross face submission, but was able to turn that around. Dan Tyler bit in a springboard elbow. In a shooting star. Good grief. Bates on a roll. So far. And now, uh oh. Inverted busted crab. But nice turnaround there by Gable. Again, two technicians going at it. In the early going, Irish whip turnaround. Got him in the corner. Double knees missed. Missed the double knees. These two are going to showcase what they're all about. 
not only to the WWE Universe, but also to showcase that they should not be undermined, that there should be opportunities in line for both men. Vertical suplex, turned it around, and another vertical suplex. Gable going three amigos, and a kip up for good measure. Three amigos and then a kip up. No doubt Gable fired up here tonight. A lot has went down here on SmackDown, but Jack Gable, Fujiwa armbar, but Bait able to get up the hold. Head scissors takedown. And now up and oh! Wow! Elevated DDT by Gable. And still not enough. He lifted him up and then planted him on his head. Still, Tyler Bate was able to withstand it. Big strong boy, able to kick out of two. But look at Gable. Oh my God, deadlift. A deadlift cradle plank. Are you kidding me? And off the top, digging axe handle. But Bate able to escape it out. Got him here. Step suplex. Holy hell, what that can tell about SmackDown. Oh, the action has leveled up ever since we've returned. Since the draft, I will say. And now Tyler Bate, all oh, 50 airplane spin. Gable not going for it. But look at Chad. Got him. Scooped him up to plant him down. Master Gable. Not looking... Uh, not looking to end it, but it seems Tyler Bate has other things in mind. But wait, Gable, crossface in the center of the ring. Bates in trouble. Oh, I thought he was going to submit, but he was able to turn that around the last second. Tyler Bate has something in mind, but it's Gable. And now Gable, oh, got the leg. Gable got the leg. Tyler Bates in trouble! Ankle lock! Ankle lock by Gable! Gable! Gets the win! Tyler Bates submits! Here is your wow! Chad Gable! Hey, for the amount of time that they provided these two men, they make the most out of it. With Gable with a submission victory. Wow! Two rings, one steel cage. Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena where Raw vs SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. Welcome everyone back live to SmackDown! As we're moments away from our main event right now, here comes the WWE Women's Champion! The man has come around to the same place she won that championship many years ago against Ronda Rousey. It was each one of her New Jersey kind of at MetLife Stadium at WrestleMania where Becky Lynch beat Ronda Rousey for the women's title. Fast forward 2024, about four to five years later, Becky Lynch still on top as the WWE Women's Champion. Defeated Santa Baszler, putting her in the rear view mirror at Night of Champions after getting the win via submission. The man has come around to New Jersey after going back and forth with Shayna Baszler I can now move forward and see what's next. Which brings me to Survivor Series Brand Warfare. Triple H just announced that I will meet the Raw Women's World Champion, Bayley. What the? Wait, wait, 
Wait, guys, this isn't raw. Wait a minute! What the hell? What is she doing here? Bailey, the women's world champion! So that's why she wasn't on Raw this week! So wait, Bailey is here! Bailey, the women's world champion, interrupting the WWE Women's Champion. So Raw, Raw's champion interrupting SmackDown's champion here tonight. Wow. Well, I, I mean, Triple H did announce that Bailey and Becky will go at it one-on-one -on -one ahead of the fourth Survivor Series to set the tone for the best two out of three falls. But oh my! You're damn right, this is awesome! Well, hello, Becky. Long time, no see. When Triple H was making this announcement that the champions will face each other, I had to fly over to New Jersey to look you in the eye and let it be known that I am the far better champion. You just beat Shayna, good for you. I, on the other hand, have been taking over the Raw Women's Division with my girls' damage control. The three of us are champions, and with Dakota Kai and now Kyrie Sane is with us, we're unstoppable. Wow. Huh. And now you think you can bring that same level of confidence to SmackDown to prove that you're better than me? Listen, you dope, I'm not fighting all of damage control. I'm not fighting Io, Kyrie, Dakota, or even Asuka. I'm fighting you, Bailey. I've beaten you before, and you've beaten me in the past. And on SmackDown, right before the brands go to war, the man will cut the head of the snake known as Damage Control by humbling you in front of the world. Wow. Oh my God. Well, Becky, that makes the two of us. I've been watching you since we're a part of the Four Horsewomen. No matter what brand or what company we're in, I'm always watching and somewhat supporting you. I still consider you family, but I've also accepted reality that even family can stand in your way of greatness. That's why I have no problem beating you on your own turf. And in fact... Oh, what? Oh, hey, Bailey! Do a strike with Becky Lynch! The man coming around and sends Bailey over the top to the outside! Oh, my! Bailey threw the first shot, but it's Becky standing tall at this very moment. The man has come around in Jersey to lay the smack down on Bailey. The Women's World Champion try to upstage the WWE Women's Champion, but it seems that Becky standing her ground here on SmackDown. Wow. Becky and Bailey one-on-one -on -one in a few weeks. You wanted to see me, Rock? Yes, The Rock wanted to. Damn. You oh, my horrible. God. Now that you're here, Look at Randy I Orton. want to discuss about your rematch for the WWE title and war game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as they discuss war games in a couple of weeks, the first chance of defense of DIY will come next episode of SmackDown and still defend it against pretty deathly. Also, in the next episode of SmackDown, they're going to get revenge is Candice LeRae. She goes one-on-one -on -one with Alexa Bliss. Remember, Bliss and Cross defeated the way via count-up. LeRae, they're going to get her vengeance next week. Also next week, with now the women's television title in the SmackDown brand, more opportunity comes for the superstars, so Meechin will go one-on-one -on -one with Zoe Stark next week. Also, we saw earlier tonight, Kevin Owens demanded a challenge, and he got it. Will it be time's up for his Intercontinental title reign as he defends it against Karrion Cross one-on-one -on -one next week. And also in our main event next week, CM Punk will meet Finn Balor one-on-one. -on -one. You don't want to miss the very next episode of SmackDown, but you don't want to miss our main event because coming up next, the women's television title of the line. Jane Cargo defends the gold against Raquel Rodriguez. They're going to run it back from Night of Champions. These two are the final participants. They're going at it next. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the television championship!
Big opportunity tonight for Raquel Rodriguez. I say that because she had a great showing at Night of Champions. Was in the final participants along with Jade Cargo to win the television title. And it was Jade Cargo that came away with the win. So, tonight, Raquel Rodriguez was granted an, a rematch in a sense. Uh, they're going to do back. They're going to get the, the rematch, if you will, against Jade Cargo here tonight. Raquel Rodriguez has been chasing after the championship glory for years, but now this could be her one shot. She could be the second ever women's television champion in history, but she could be the first one to not only beat Jade Cargo in a WWE ring, but also be the first one to end her reign on a short notice. A storm is coming with the gold around her waist. A woman that once held a 50 and 0 record before coming to the WWE. Then went on to achieve greatness elsewhere but now that she's here now that she's back in the WWE it's only fitting that Jade Cargill is our first WWE women's television champion she left as a champion she debuts slash returns as a champion and tonight it's her night to showcase what she's all about. She returned in her home state of Florida to win that prize. Nana, she's here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. She's ready to do battle against Raquel Rodriguez. Two grown ass women about to beat the hell out of each other for that prize. Introducing the challenger. WWE Universe on their feet. Sold out. 13,000 plus in the arena tonight. Here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. In our main event. WWE Women's Title. WWE Women's Television Championship. First title defense. Here. We. Go. Raquel. Jade. Something's got to give. Here tonight. Again, the performance between both women. We're on a grand stage. A lot of people love that gauntlet match with the television title on the line where Jade came out on top. Jade and Raquel went at it back and forth until it was Jade that came away with the win, which allowed The Rock not only to look at that, not only to observe that, but also to grant both Jade and Raquel this rematch one-on-one -on -one here tonight. Big scoop and a slam. I'm sure Beth Phoenix may have had a May have had a, an opportunity to point out how well these two did at Night of Champions. Thought, let's rerun it here tonight. That's all we saw. Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley ran it back earlier tonight with Rhea standing tall. But it seems Raquel is the one standing tall over Jade. As Raquel Rodriguez laying the smackdown on the Jade here tonight. Making a crucial mistake in my view. Instead of being on the attack, she's taunting to the crowd. Which I don't think you want to overlook or disrespect your opponent such as Jade Cargo, who has yet been pinned or submitted in Universe Mode. Remember that. She's yet to lose in this Universe Mode. 
She debuted in 2K22, left for a whole year, came back, won the championship on her first night back. So no doubt, Raquel Rodriguez has a lot on her plate, just as Jade does as the television champion. Look at this. After, oh! Strikes being delivered, a choke slam on the Raquel. When was the last time you saw Raquel get choke slam? Can't recall. As Jade Cargill with that backbreaker. Now just working on the body of Raquel Rodriguez, especially the spine. I mean, which is smart. Raquel likes to flex her back, and Jade is working on it. Power bomb indeed. And now the champion had to challenge her right where she won her in the early going. Maybe try to drag her into the corner, but Raquel not going for it. And now, uh oh. Oof. As both women training blows. Raquel. Oh, got blocked to Jade. But now Jade fires back. And a chop as well. Both women trading back and forth rights and lefts and a short arm Larry by Jade and another and a third by the champion. No goes for the cover. Little press is all. Not even close. A one count. Oof. Big shot right to the side of the head there by Jade and now look at this. Taunting Raquel. Rather than taunting the crowd, like Raquel did earlier. Try to go for a drop kick. Barely staggered Jade. But nonetheless, it was enough for Raquel to take advantage of. That big boot knocked her down, and now they're going to take advantage. Oh. But Jade was able to turn that around. And now Jade, boom, thunder bomb. Almost a, a spin out Tahana bomb by Jade Cargo there. And now Jay got something in mind. Oh, but Raquel was able to turn that around quickly. Kick to the midsection. Downstairs. And oh, thinking submission. Got her in the Widow's Peak submission, I think. Did Raquel, but I don't think she had her in a in a, in a good position to keep her there. That's why she might have lost grip. Scoop and a slam by Raquel. And now, uh oh. Fall away slam by the challenger. Championship title on the line. Raquel up top looking to fly. Looking to win her first title. Oh, elbow. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get the elbow. Couldn't get the elbow. But an Irish whip onto the outside. It's been a very chaotic night to say the least. But the women's television title being our main event matchup with Jade as her champion. With Raquel not looking to back down, giving everything she has. Refusing to quit in Raquel. But at the end of the day, Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to lose. That's just the way of life. Oh, elbow to the face. And now Raquel got her downstairs. Power bomb on the chin to win the television title. Up the power bomb. Oh, almost had her. Almost had her. Big, barely, barely did Jade got the shoulder up at two. Holy, now driving the shoulders right into the gut. And now, oh, right to the back to Raquel. And a clothesline, out goes the champion. We might see a new WWE television champion in Raquel Rodriguez here tonight. Up the top, oh, axe handle. An axe handle. Oh, wow. Big kick right to the head. Big kick right to the head by Jade. And now Jade with the short arm clotheslines. Just reeling up Raquel. 
Jade is a freak of nature, but so is Raquel. It's like watching two beasts going at it. You don't know what's going to happen. Count of five. Gold on the line. Something's going to give. Big boot. Big boot. Is it enough for Raquel to win? Oh, and Jade again refusing to say quit. Oof. Kick to the midsection. Big right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Raquel may be jaded. Could that be Raquel in trouble? No! Solar Batu withstands it all! Withstands it all did Raquel! Jade Cargo, what does what she got to do? She's got to stick and move. No uppercut. She's got to continue being on the attack here. She can't relent now. Especially against a hungry competitor like Raquel, who's been starving at becoming a champion over the last two years. Up top, elbow drop by Jade. Elbow drop by Jade, and now, uh oh. Jade Cargill got Raquel up high. Raquel cheated. One more time indeed. Cheated. Retain the title. Oh my goodness, what a match. Here is your winner. And still, the television champion. And still, women's television champion, Jade Cargill. The make oh, whoa, 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 Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair face to face. I guess she still wants that television title.